Oh, okay. We do because we do we do certainly have the internet, like it's all up and running, but it's just slow, I think. Oh, okay, no worries at all, keep an eye on it and I'll I'll wait uh, I'll wait uh, confirmation. Yeah, you take care, you've made my day, thank you. Bye bye. She was flattering. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Jack's love language is words of affirmation and she said that he was a star and called him darling. Hi guys. It's Wednesday my dad. Wow. Welcome to the vlog. I feel like I need to move. Let's have a tour. I'm still not used to I'm still not used to this house. Oh, I need to find my spot. Where shall I go? Maybe I will go back in here. That's quite nice. I feel really goofy this week. So I feel like I need to kind of catch you up because it's Wednesday and we actually moved on Friday and we didn't film over the weekend or really up until today. You will have seen that we were on the phone to Sky again. Our internet got turned on today and uh, it's lackluster. It's a little bit lackluster, we need some help. So we moved on Friday, everything was so smooth. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. And it just really enforces that whole idea that if something's meant to be, it will be easy. And everything was so easy. Friday, moving day, you'll, you'll have seen that in last week's vlog. Everything happened quite early. The sale of our house happened at around 10 o'clock in the morning. And we had until 12 to get out, get cleaned up. We were just kind of waiting for the phone call when, for when we could pick up our keys. So we managed to get all that done. We had movers, just in case anyone's wondering, I paid for it all, but I just wanted to say how brilliant our movers were. If you're in Scotland, actually not even in Scotland, they work UK wide. And I know that they do a lot of moves like overseas so people moving from the UK to Europe and things like that they're called GB liners and I do not know what we would have done without them but they packed up the van and they had this insurance that was like if you don't get your keys for ages then they will wait for no extra charge so we paid that but literally I was in the car with the dogs leaving our old house for the last time and it was mental and I was kind of thinking I was like oh god where am I gonna go for all this time before we get our keys and literally as I was like going down the road, I got the phone call saying you can come get your keys. So I drove to get our keys, I burst into the wrong estate agent and was like, I'm here to get my keys. And they were like, no, you're not, you're at the wrong place. And then I went to the right estate agents, got the keys. And then that's all you saw last week was us walking through the front door with the dogs. So we got to the house. We've had five days now, pretty much to settle in. We have pretty much just been cleaning, organising and learning about the house. Our house is quite an old house. In Scotland it's so common, All these old houses are everywhere and I've always loved them. So is Jack. See when I say I, I always mean me and Jack pretty much, right? As soon as we came to see this house, we, can't, we, we just had this feeling. We knew it was for us. I've mentioned it loads of times in previous videos, but we walked through the door and there was a portrait of a German Shepherd right there. And it had like all the key things that we really wanted. So like a walled garden for the dogs, enough space, it had the perfect amount of rooms. It's got a really cool layout that isn't, I suppose, bog standard, which I, I like, I like a little bit of quirkiness. We got here on Friday, it was so cold. <laughs> we think the house has been empty for a little while. We figured out how to turn the heating on, which is great. Like see with old houses as well, like. I think maybe 20 years ago this house was so up to date but it's not really been touched for 20 years so it's just really exciting we've got a lot of work to do on the house for example like we would love to get a new kitchen eventually all the bathrooms need done up like kind of honestly renovated but there are so many original features in this house that that really blew me away i feel like i've accidentally built suspense and i didn't mean to do that we were just like getting ourselves ready and it's a really quite a personal thing but we want to share it but we want to share it in our own way i guess part of me is wishing that we'd vlogged over the weekend because there was a couple of funny moments which you'll see, my first world problem, worst nightmares happened. And hands up if you can guess what that is at the start of the vlog, if you leave a comment. Guess what I don't have in this house? <laughs> We've settled in really well. 
we had a bit of a moment on where so we moved in on Friday busy on Friday like Friday we got here I think about one o'clock by two o'clock the movers were finished and we were just left with all our stuff and taking something that's something that I'd never thought about is moving into a house is almost as hard as moving out of a house because you've got all this stuff to unpack. You don't know where you are. <laughs> you've seen, like, we'd seen this house one time before we got it, and we've not really seen it since. So, you know, there was things that we couldn't remember, and there was like, oh, that's there, and this is there, and that, that definitely needs fixed, and blah, blah, blah. That was all fine. Friday and Saturday we were really busy. And then Sunday we had a little bit of a moment where me and Jack just felt like two kids in this house. We had a little bit of imposter syndrome. We were like, where are we? How, like, how has this happened? It was a bit of a pinch me moment and it was a bit like, well, like, how do we deserve this? I've said before, we didn't, it's funny, we didn't really talk about it in the lead up, but this is our dream house and the work that we would love to do to this house will make it even like better than it is and we are never wanting to leave. I actually don't think I have really left, apart from taking the dogs out, I've not left the house because I'm just like, I just wanna stay here all the time. We are so overwhelmed and grateful and like giddy about it. There's a lot that makes me just think like, who do I think I am living in this house? Who do I think I am? But. It's the same old me. I'm just in a, just in a different place. I know that you just want the tour. I just wanted to catch you up because I feel like that little missing part was quite important. And we've got a little bit of a story time in this week's vlog. So all our stuff is that the house is actually, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, let's actually pick up these dog toys off of another tartan carpet. I can't tell you how many of you guys were like so sad that we didn't have a tartan carpet anymore. But here we go, there's another dog toy. So, I've been trying to do this and I don't even know what to say. I'm just like walking around just like from, that. Just speak from the heart. So I guess I'll start in here. Like I said, it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit messy. We're still settling in, but this is our living room. And it's really familiar because we've still got all our stuff, which I really like. I love that we've got all our stuff. And I think the dogs, as soon as we were unpacking and putting everything like just roughly where it's gonna be, the dogs really loved it because they could smell smell you know they smelled home and they knew that it was their stuff so they, they settled in really really quickly and my favorite oh god it's too dark I just started kind of showing you around a little bit and it's too dark outside it's night time it's dinner time so we're gonna have our dinner and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna give you a little bit I'll show you some bits oh it's just like I can't describe it the most incredible like five days. We've been waking up and just with like a proper smile on our face every morning. It's just like exciting, all the stuff that we need to do and that we want to do and it's just, yeah. I can't wait. Oh. Good to Just to square it over my closer. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's Thursday. We've done the same thing. It's it's pretty dark again. It's night time. What we have been doing is getting in touch with a lot of people. Like I said before, this is quite an old house. There are some things that we need to do to this house. It's gonna take us a long time, but that's part of like the excitement, I think. So we're just kind of reaching out, putting out the feelers just to see what the best order is. I mentioned yesterday that there is something that I do not have in this house. And it came as a surprise. Uh, I don't have a bath. Now, we found this out uh, on the first night, so, there's a couple of things and actually I'm so excited to talk about it because I know that so many of you will have some like tips for us on how to <laughs> how to like live with certain things. So we came from a house that had a combi boiler. A combi boiler basically does your heating in your house and it also does your hot water. In this house we have a boiler for the heating, but we have a hot water tank for our water. Now I didn't realise that. I didn't realise we had a hot water tank and we ran out of hot water trying to run a bath. Another thing I didn't realise was the bath. It's an old bath. 
we gave it a really good scrub and then I started running this bath and it doesn't hold the water. So we're filling this bath up with hot water. It's the first night, right? We've just finished moving. It was such an exciting day. It was a really long day. We opened up a bottle of Chateau Neuf de Pape and we were having a glass of wine, running the bath, so excited. And then the bath just wasn't really filling up. It's a really big bath that we've got upstairs, but it, again, it's really old. And I just noticed it wasn't filling up and then the water went ice cold. I didn't understand what had happened because I hadn't explored what kind of water we had. I mean, it's definitely in the home report, but I just didn't really, didn't really pay attention. So the first night, we realised that we'd ran out of hot water. I thought something had happened, so I went down to where the boiler is, played around with a couple of knobs, let's just say, uh, and then the next day we didn't have any hot water at all. Turns out I turned the hot water off, turned it back on, that's fine. Realised we've got a hot water tank, and I was like, ah, right, okay, so I need to pay attention when I'm running this bath. Second night, running the bath, hot water, piping hot water. I was like, this is great, this is gonna work fine. Bath got to a decent temperature. I didn't want to overfill it in case it went cold. So I filled it up. It was at like a fine temperature. Went downstairs to get a drink, went back upstairs and the water was like half gone. I was like, what is going on here? This is, this is not right. It seems to me like we have a hot water tank that doesn't have enough hot water to fill this bath that's upstairs but the bath is also broken so it doesn't hold the water so it doesn't really matter anyway so imagine me ran this bath we ran out of hot water again and need a bath like we ran out of hot water the night before as well so it was a bit of a you know a wet wipe situation so i panic get the kettle we boil four kettles and chuck it in this bath and then i proceed to get in this bath with the water very quickly the level is decreasing so you know what a, a dying fish looks like on the shore of a pond or a beach and they're they're <coughs> flapping about that was me in the bath because i was just like that with my shower gel so what we figured out is we do have hot water we have a shower it's another old bathroom so it does need redone at some point but our ensuite, which is the room with the bath in it, is not usable. So that was like a thing that we learned. So I've been talking to a bathroom company about the boiler situation and what we can do there and whether it's better to upgrade or, or change the way that we work it. Um, hello, boo-boo. It's just very old. It's all, it's all very interesting. So I just wanted to tell you that little story because I find it hilarious now. Did I cry? Yes. I did. I had a small cry. I had a small cry because I was so tired and all I wanted was a bath. I mean, this is not new information. I love my bath. That has kind of turned into the, I think, one of the first things that we're going to do to this house. So it's exciting. I'm wildly aware that I've not really shown you around yet. I don't know why, like I'm partly, I'm kind of nervous. We've been doing our cleaning, figuring out where all our stuff goes. Some of our stuff doesn't go in the house, but it will eventually, maybe at one point. So we've put it away. And I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you the living room, which is where we're sitting right now. You can see we have lovely green walls. Uh, one thing that I was so excited about this house is we don't have much wallpaper. I think this is lining paper on here right now, but these walls could just get painted, which is a really good, like, quick way to change up the vibe in a room. The floors have this amazing parquet flooring, which is old. I think, I don't think it's original with the house, but absolutely love it. We've got our little setup, just like we did at the old house. We've got the same couch, rug, table, TV and TV stand. It's all the same. Brought the couch that they love lying on as well. This is like our only little shelving area. So I don't know if you remember, but we used to have like two bookshelves that I had. Oh my God, remember those shelves? I used to like say that I was clearing them out all the time and I never did. But this is our little shelf just now. So we're just making do with this. Never know what will happen. We've got a lovely bay window. This is a fireplace that we think is working, but we still need to kind of try it out. But my favorite thing about this room I think I really love the floors, but this, this ceiling is my ultimate 
favourite. I could not believe it when we came to see the house. There were so many signs about this place that we just loved, but one of them, do you see the little cherub in the ceiling? How amazing is that? Also love this light. I love the fact it looks like candlesticks. I just think this is so beautiful. It's amazing. Got wall lights that match, which are really cool. I mean, it looks like a flipping Fabergé egg or something. And then we've got the kind of ornate fireplace and I've just popped one of our paintings up there. And I've got my little cherubs candles, my little cherub tea light holders, which I love. I just think it's such a cool room. So much potential. Another thing about the house is, like I said, it's quite old. So we've got a lot of sockets and skirtings, which we're gonna have a wee look at. We've got electricians coming out on Monday just to do all the tests to make sure it's all right. Look at this big dog. Oh, look at this big dog. So that's the living room. And then this is one of my favorite rooms. And we've been really lucky that I feel like the downstairs area of this house we can kind of leave for the time being. Like I said, we're gonna take our time to get all this done the way that we like, and we're not in a rush to decorate. We're gonna settle right in, see how we use the house and how, and like just really figure it out. I don't want to make any rash decisions on decorating and end up decorating again too soon. Like I really want to like enjoy every minute of it. And I just think it'll be so much more fun that way. But this room is so cool. We have a gold ceiling. We got a lot of comments about being sad about the tartan carpet, but we have a tartan carpet. So we've literally just put our table and chairs in here in our dresser unit. We had this at the old house as well. Same with the mirror. Don't really know what we're doing with that yet, but I think that this big map mirror will look amazing in here. We've got our drinks trolley the same as before, but everything just looks so good in this room. And I just think it looks so cool the way it is. Love the kind of chevron parquet flooring in here. This is one of the reasons that I just loved it. Curtains, like we're just gonna leave them for the moment, but I just thought this room was so amazing the way it is. I just love that ceiling so, so, so much. Great. So this is where we've been eating our dinner. I mean, it feels hilarious, me and Jack just sitting at this table, just us. There he is. I mean, it's what are we like, Jack, at dinner time sitting in, it's sitting at this table. It feels it feels like we're dressing up or something when we eat dinner. Well, I know, it's something we've never really done. We always usually just sit I know. I think as well, the layout of the last house, this was like the room that we would walk into, our dining room table was, so it was always messy and it was always really busy, whereas this is like a dedicated room just to sit and enjoy food. I mean, the only thing that we're missing is other people, <laughs> but that's fine. But I just think this room is so... So cool. This is my favourite room. Is it? Yeah, I think it's my favourite as well for the moment. I mean, our favourite room will definitely change as we work our way through the house, but I think to have a room like this to walk into in an old house is so cool. Yeah, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Another thing that we really love about the house is just like how much space that we've got. But this is our kitchen. It's great, it works. I think we'll just get there in time. Like it's exciting having a double fridge freezer. This was something that we were absolutely buzzing about. That was a highlight, isn't it? Uh -huh. If I turn the lights on. It does need a wee bit of a modernization in here. Okay. Some of the Do you know, and stuff are really old, but with the kitchen, it's so functional the way it is. And we've got, again, we've got way more room, which is really exciting. Everything works great. So I don't think this is a priority. So we'll just stick with this kitchen for a good wee while. And yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great. We're just kind of working our way through it. We've got our coffee machine back out. We've got all this space up here, which is amazing. The dogs got some new bowls for their new house. Yes. So that's the kitchen. Works great, great space, great potential. And then if I go up the stairs, this is one of my all time fave features. Uh, we could not believe our eyes when we saw this. Too exciting. Oh my God, it's so dark up here. And this is the chaos of the makeup room. We're gonna get these wardrobes taken out and the ones that I've designed put in, changing over the carpet to a wooden floor and then changing the paint on the walls and any electrics that need done. I think as well, we might rework this little bookshelf to be something a little bit different. But I'm just so excited to have a big room. 
there's something like slightly overwhelming about it all because it, we were talking about it and in the old house we moved in it was our first house before that we lived in a wee flat and we were walking around the house and I think we lived in it the way it was for a bit and we slowly started doing bits up and it got to the point where I think the the bottom of the house which is the most of the house in the last place I think we maybe did like half of it and then we're just like starting from scratch again which I, it's, it is so exciting but I've got a long list of things that we need to do. So <laughs> I've made a little makeshift studio. So I've got all my old equipment and I don't know if you remember but this little mirror and this setup was behind me right at the start at the old house. So it felt very reminiscent but as soon as I got all this set up and I sat and did my makeup it was crazy how like settled I felt. It was just so good. So good. But this is the chaos at the moment. Still unpacking but this room there's not really any point in us unpacking at the moment until we get units that built. Like there's no point in taking all the stuff out the boxes because it is, believe it or not, it is actually kind of organized in there but it's going to be so good i've already had someone out to talk about the carpets just because carpets and makeup don't really don't really go and then this is our bedroom i don't know if you can tell it's lovely and pink i mentioned before we are not going to bother buying any furniture until we're doing each room up. If I see something that I love that I think will suit the way that the house is now and the way it will be after, then fine. But our bedroom, for example, is going to be quite different. Completely different walls and floor. And when it comes to like a bed, getting a bed frame, getting it built, having to take it down just to get the floors changed, I just think we're fine sleeping on the floor. <laughs> so we've literally got our mattress on the floor again. And we're fine with it. We're fine with it. Me and Jack have done this floor sleeping thing for a long time, so we're not bothered. And then this is the this was the devastating part. <sighs> this is our ensuite, which I was so excited about. I couldn't believe it. And again, remember we we came here and we saw it one time, and then that was it. So I had like a quick glimpse around. I just assumed that everything would be fine and in working order. Alas, not the case. The shower and the bath are unusable and can look at the size of the bath. I mean, you can tell it's old because of the way that the jacuzzi is and stuff, but I saw this and absolutely freaked out and I can't use it. <laughs> this room, we literally use the toilet and brushing our teeth and that's it. Devastating, absolutely devastating, but it's like such a nice space. The marble floor and all that was amazing. Upset that we couldn't use it at first, but now I'm just excited about getting it done. And it means that, you know, I'll get my like dream bathroom. My Pinterest is obviously full of bathrooms. We really want to get this right so we don't need to touch it again uh, for a really long time. So it's just gonna take like careful planning, but it will be great and it'll be worth it. This is our wee shower room that we're using at the moment, which actually I really like. It's cute, I love the black and the white tiles. Stained glass windows are amazing, they're so cool. <sighs> Unfortunately, with windows like these, they look absolutely incredible, but you really need to treat them and get them refurbished and things, and we will have to make our way around refurbishing the windows, but they are good for just now. I mean, a lot of them are painted shut but that's fine as well. So it's good that we've got this wee room. Do you know what's nice as well? Like see, as soon as I had all my candles out and got everything lit, it really did just feel like home. And one more thing that we just so love about this house is all the details in the ceilings and like the light fixtures and things like that. It's just absolutely amazing. Can you tell I'm happy? That's all I'm gonna show you today because there's, there's one last room that I want to show you, but there's no point at night time. Oh my god, another thing. Our internet got cancelled again, so we're still internetless. It's definitely not gonna be back by Monday, but we'll just make it work. There's a lot of like feeling like completely upside down when you move. As happy and as excited as we are, it's like a feeling of general unrest. You don't know how to do things. Like figuring out all the hot water and all that blew my mind and we're still kind of learning about the house. Like the first night that we stayed here, I mean, this house is a bit bigger than our old house, so I was convinced it was going to be colder. I woke up at two in the morning absolutely sweating because the whole house was boiling because we'd left the heating on. So there's just like weird things like that. Like I don't think I've had a full settled night's sleep yet because it just feels like there's so much to do. Like you need to wake up and just get to it. And then by the end of the day, you're so tired, but it is the best. We absolutely love it here. 
found this t-shirt when we were moving. It's an extra, 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 extra large Vegas t-shirt and it is the best nighty. I'm just making a cup of tea because I love herbal tea and I have not had any herbal tea since we moved. This t-shirt. I look like I'm wearing Homer Simpson's Moo Moo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I was just saying, Jack, I've hit a, I've hit a point. Of what? A new leaf. A new leaf? Because I feel like all we've done is, and it's been fun. What are you eating? Mandarin. Fruit in a can. I no. got it during, at the start of the pandemic. Did you? Canned fruit. <laughs> just in case it was a whole up, yep. Look what I got at the shop today. Look at that. Tiny wee can. Look at the size of it. Why did you get such small cans? Sold the can they had. Is it great? Let me have a sip. I've hit a droof. I feel oh, like... Is it great? Crisp, fizzy apple. We moved in. We didn't have anything. We didn't have any like groceries or plans for dinner. And honestly, I think the last thing that you feel like doing after the day of unpacking or cleaning or whatever is, is cooking dinner. So we've been ha enjoying ourselves and eating loads of takeaways. I feel like my body's just said, no, you need to go and drink a cup of herbal tea and have some fruit right now. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna finish this for my supper. Cup of chamomile. Guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna have breakfast. I'm gonna drink a glass of water. We're getting into our routine again, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Do you know? Good morning. <laughs> Uh, the dogs have settled in really, really well. We're really chuffed with them. Juno is getting there. Oh, you know what I'm talking about you. But I've mentioned before, she's quite a nervous dog and where we walk her now is busier. So she's still getting used to it, but I've been doing some really good training with her, which I'll show you. And she's responding really well to it. But these dogs are very happy on this Friday morning. It's Friday and I'm ready to pick up my dogs and get them outside. I look tired today. I woke up, I put real clothes on for the first time in a long time. I've been living in my like athleisure outfits where we've been just getting to work. But I feel like putting real clothes on today. It's Friday, sunny and rainy classic Scotland and while the sun's out I want to show you one more part of the house that for me I freaked out so at the old house you might have seen that we had a conservatory wait just wait look at this oh my goodness and it's so tall the dogs love it in here we've got just our old garden furniture in here which is working really good and we've not done a deep clean in this room yet we just kind of put it in situ so the dogs had somewhere to go and i needed to get all my plants in this room watered just so they would survive the move it honestly reminds me of something from twilight <laughs> so i absolutely freaked out but we've got all our plants in here we're just kind of seeing how they're all doing if they're going to survive and then we'll start kind of like moving them around the house hi what i oh my god you're literally sitting right right atop of me right atop i love this room so much it is so bright it's just so amazing i've got a good idea for in here i think we'll keep it pretty much the way it is apart from i'd love to change the tiles in here to the black and white tiles i just think that would look so cool and i guess eventually we'll get different furniture for in here and this stuff might go outside don't know this room oh my goodness it's so nice just to sit in hi drugs you scratching your face he is like a different dog in this house he is so goofy and happy and we started taking him out himself again just because you're so nervous like he's such a good boy with people yes he's such a good boy he's such a good boy with people and other dogs that he was kind of missing out on the interaction i guess because juno would no one wants to come near juno when she's out which is so crazy because even you look at her she's perfect but we'll get there won't we with your training Aww. oh my god i just love it i think we'll spend quite a lot of time in here especially like in summer all the windows open up nice and wide and with all the plants in here i just think it's so gorgeous you can see i'm getting blinded by the sun right now oh look at that sunshine oh <laughs> i love it it's just been so nice to have the time to settle. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sent me through a loop though. Like there was so much change going on, but also not working 
is like another huge change because we like we work all the time. It was just bizarre. It was really bizarre. Oh my god, we've been here for a week. Happy week anniversary, you guys. I cannot wait to show what we're thinking and, and do little bits up together. It's gonna be really fun. In my makeup room. Do you know what? I don't hate the blue background. I think that the colour correction is nicer than the white. Sometimes I look really green with a white background, but we'll see what we'll do in here. But I don't know whether I'll do white again, you know. I don't know if you remember, but in my old makeup room, I pretty much always had to have my studio lights on to do my makeup, to, to vlog, to do anything. But we have lovely natural light now. So I've got my wee mirror. I can just do my makeup like this when I'm not filming, it's so nice. And I actually wondered, maybe I could even film with natural, well, Scottish weather might limit us, but filming with natural light would be quite nice as well. I'm gonna tidy up this wee room so I'm ready to work. And we actually, excitingly, this is my makeup room and it's gonna be a bit of my dressing room as well. But we actually have an office downstairs as well for Vive, which is so exciting. What we're gonna do this weekend is cook, relax. Me and Jack, <laughs> because of everything that happened with the bath, We've not actually had like a chilled night celebrating the house yet because every time we try to do it, something would get in the way, like the bath not working or like we weren't settled as well. We didn't have like any of our stuff. So I think that's what we'll do this weekend, which will be really nice. Just share a bottle of wine, cook some nice food, take the dogs out and just have like our first proper weekend in the house. Cause last weekend was, it was just chaos. We were both like just bogging. <laughs> whole weekend. It is a really crazy thing. It's way more like work afterwards than I thought. I guess if you had a new build it would be easier but when you've got an old house like this it's kind of inevitable that you're going to find things that you're like that. Ah, eek. There are some like appliances and stuff that are older that we need to replace but it's just again it's just figuring out what the best use of our time and money is and, and seeing what really needs done now and what we can live with for a while until we get round to it. I've always loved old houses, always. I don't think I've ever, that's a doorbell. We have a doorbell now. We're still getting to know our new postman. I think we're just gonna do a really lovely natural makeup today. I can feel that we're really starting to relax back into our routine because I like had my chamomile tea last night. I started doing my skincare routine again because all my skincare was packed. It just feels really, really nice. I am gonna put on Piazza blush on my bare skin. I'll wait till you see. Look, I actually feel like that makes it look like I've got way more makeup on. I'm uploading a video today, a sponsored video with KVD Beauty, which, oh my God, wait until you see this foundation. Immaculate scenes. I need to figure out how to hotspot for my phone and where would be best because our internet got canceled again. I don't know what's going on. I started looking up whether maybe a MiFi box would be good, but I've not got I've not got any experience with that kind of thing, and I just don't know if it will work in the house. I mean, ideally we would just get good broadband. Absolutely shocking that the internet here might actually be worse than where we were before and where we were before it was like countryside. So figuring that out. We also ran out of hot water again because I turned off the hot water heater because I didn't think we needed it, but we do. A lot of learning, a lot of learning this week. Hello, it's Sunday. So today is actually vlog day. I uploaded a Get Ready With Me q and yesterday and there was a couple of questions about Juno in there which I answered and I have seen so many comments from people saying that they are kind of struggling with their dog in the same way that we are working with Juno. Juno has made so much progress. Since we moved here I only started really you know training maybe like four days ago and already huge difference. So I thought that this might help and even if you've got an older dog and you're struggling with them on their lead, I would say mostly. I'm not a dog trainer or behaviorist or anything, but this has really, really worked for us. And Juno is a reactive dog. She struggles, 
she just struggles when she leaves the house really she struggles with people other people other dogs for sure more so we are still kind of exploring the behaviourist route. I messaged one person, but I didn't love the response, if that makes sense. I just think it's something that you need to be so delicate with. So I thought that I would just do my best myself and see how we get on. And oh my goodness, the difference is amazing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and explain what we've done and how I've done our tune in general. Come. Good girl, good girl. Right, okay, shall we? Shall we? What you're gonna need is a high value treat. Um, we've been using plain chicken. I think it's like roast chicken or boiled chicken. And you cut it up into pea sized chunks. And it's really good. Dogs are so smart. Like Juno is so, so smart. So she knows as soon as I get this belt bag that it's time for training because it's always full of chicken. And what we've done is we started at home. So home is where Juno is the most comfortable. She is not nervous or anything like that. And we worked in the house and then we went outside and we did it in the garden. And then now I can take her on walks by myself. Um, and we take Juno by ourselves as well. We leave Drogba here and Drogba actually gets walked separately now so he can really enjoy himself. Me and Juno go for our walks every morning, just me and her and doing our training. And then at night time we go out all as a family. The difference in her is incredible. So I'm gonna wait for her to finish her drink. Drogba likes getting involved as well. Do you want to do some training? Yes, do you want to do some training? I've got this belt bag, so see if you see these dogs. Very interested. This is where we put the chicken. Usually if I was going for a big, a big walk, like this is what we've got. Jack just picked it up for me. It's just super plain cooked chicken pieces. And if I was going out for a big walk, I would get the chopping board out and I would just chop it all up so it was ready to go. But because I'm just gonna show you in the house, I'm just taking the small bits. I tried this with Juno's kibble like her dry food and she was not interested. The way that I started doing this was I just started walking around with the treat in my hand making Juno follow me. So if I show you, I hold the chicken here and every time Juno looks good girl, every time Juno looks at me in my eyes without prompt I give her a little bit of chicken. Good girl and drop that. Good boy. Oh my god, he honestly has like human teeth. It really bothers me. His teeth are so big. We're gonna walk right round and see if you look at where she's standing. Look how good and every time good girl and every time I'm feeding her, I give her the little bit of chicken exactly where I want her to stand. So look, she just stands right at my heel. So now when I take her on walks, she literally just walks right next to my leg. There are things will come up, like triggers for her. So other people used to be one, but honestly the last, I think I've been doing this for four days in the last two days, she's not barked at people, other dogs she's barked at. But what we do is when we see another dog, I get her to turn around, face me and sit. And we just do a little bit of obedience training. And it basically enforces positive rewards to her triggers. And she starts seeing it as, all oh, right, okay, so if I see another dog, I may get some chicken. And then over time, that just becomes her behavior and her habits. See if we walk again. Can you see, she just walks right here. Good girl. Feed her right there. <laughs> Drug was so good as well. Good girl. We do some fun training as well. Let's do both of you. Okay guys, come. Ready, sit. Stay. Stay. <laughs> so it's super basic, but I cannot believe the difference in her. She is way more willing to do what I ask her to do. I've been reading so many like blog posts about dog training and so many of them make a really good point and it was like you wouldn't go to work for free and, and you're asking your dog to work. We've got a much better, like me, me and Juno have got the best relationship anyway, but it's even better. She's so much more calm around the house. And yeah, I just, I see a huge improvement in our behavior already. What we'll do is we'll keep on doing that training in the house. We we do go on our walks and at kind of anti-social hours just so there's not so many people and triggers for her so she can build up her confidence. Yeah, I just really wanted to 
show you in case it helps. So I hope you like this week's vlog. Uh, yeah, it's just been the best. I'm so happy with uh, how many of you are really excited about all this as well. So it's going to be a fun journey for us all, isn't it guys? That's all from me this week. I uh, hope you had a great weekend, have a lovely weekend and whatever day it is, I hope it was nice. And I'll see you next week. Bye. It's the over but it smells like farts in here. Do you know, stinky girl. Nourished. Mm. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited and storming. That's not what I thought it was going to be. You're going to look at yourself. Oh. Juno's even sad for me. It's okay. Jack, there's a big bit of snack a jack on the floor. And as like happy and as excited that we are, that doesn't make sense. That's not gonna work. I can't even stand next to the bath because I can feel the pain in my heart.